We have out of our 90 players here, we have a handful. Thank you, Kent. It is a great night to be back in the studio. And uh, this week we witnessed the end of the NBA Finals. Would this be 2020 or 2021? 2021. 2021. Yeah. The 2021 NBA Finals. And boy, was it impressive. It boy, was. was it impressive. I will say this. I didn't expect it to be like this. It turned into actually one of the more entertaining series we've had in recent years. Just because of the storylines just because of how it went down, the actual games they got played. This was some good basketball we got. It wasn't like blowouts after blowout after blowout. You know what I mean? Like, aside from game three, we really had a very good even series. And congratulations to Milwaukee. They did it. I doubted them the entire time, but they proved us wrong. They proved it. Oh, except you. Seemed like you're the only one I know that was uh, saying Milwaukee had it. Yeah, uh, what was it after about game? Was that game three? Three game, yeah, well, game three. Uh, yeah, after game three, because you said that uh, even before game three, I remember on the show you said that no matter what, I, I expect the the Bucks to make a big change, and you think that you said they were going to win game three, uh, and so um, yeah, and, and then I said even, they, they're going to make the and I said they got to win two games at home, and I said if they win the two games at home, it's series over. Right. No, so, the lost. Suns the Suns are done. Yeah. Now you know what's impressive is this the the Bucks. One, four straight wins to take this title. Now, the last time, I think the last time this happened, correct me if I'm wrong, was the 06 Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. Who have, had a 2 0 series lead before Miami. And the only difference is the refs weren't there to help <laughs> the Bucks. Yeah, they thought that, oh, oh what's the name is going to be helping Chris Paul out, but no, I guess he, not. He, couldn't, he couldn't do it this time. Now, I'm going to give, before we get into praising Giannis and everybody else, I got to say, Chris Paul did all he could. In uh, in game Giddy. six, in game six, Giddy. he tried. He was trying. It didn't seem like his rest of his team could do anything. I mean, they, they were missing shots. DeAndre Ayton just what happened to him? I mean, he did. Did he was he even impactful? Like I I, I I don't feel like we even heard DeAndre Ayton's like name get uh, put out as much as we thought it would. You know what um, I mean? Um, I told you what the problem is. Once they switched Giannis to the center position, mm -hmm. he was out of uh, he was out of position. Who was the um? Who was the other uh, big that the Phoenix had that got hurt? What was the name? Um, because I think that really hurt them too as well. Because they didn't have another reliable big to go to. It was just DeAndre Ayton and everybody else. I don't think it was a mismatch. Oh, uh, Zario Sarge. Yeah, he, got, he, hurt, he yeah. got hurt, and then that took them. That was their other set, seven footer. Exactly, and I think they had nobody else to go to, and they were kind of just whatever, and they. And give credit to the Milwaukee Bucks. The way they played that new style of basketball where they put Giannis pretty much at the forefront and say, hey, everybody go around Giannis. Let Giannis kind of control it. Well, I was impressed by that. I'm impressed also by what Giannis did down the stretch, especially in game six. I don't know what kind of defensive strategy was to just let yeah, Giannis yeah. go straight down. Yeah, the Monty Williams kind of kind of uh, let me down too because Monty did, uh, Monty Williams did not make the adjustment that he needed to. First off, they were letting they were letting Giannis get to the basket, and whenever he wanted to, it was um, I I I think halfway through, I was like, he's gonna go fifty. I like he's gonna go get fifty. Well, the, okay, so and this is what and, I praise Giannis for. You know, last year I was critical of Giannis, and uh, I I have been going back and forth with Daniel Horton uh, from Cedar Hill mm -hmm. that Giannis had to change and elevate his game. He's talking about Giannis still played the same he played played, and I was like, no, Giannis didn't. Giannis became a better shooter. He became a better player all around. Last two years, I watched Giannis run down the lane, try to roll roll over everybody, and all Jay Crowder and Jimmy Butler did last year was stand in front of him and get charged. Almost every game, playoff game last year, Giannis was in foul trouble or fouled out of the game in the fourth quarter because he had no moves and he did nothing different. And you know, he was trying to argue me that Giannis didn't didn't. I was like, Giannis took a lot of jump shots, and he's like, you, you didn't take a lot of jump shots. I'm like, what series were you watching? No, he did. He took a lot. More. He took a lot of jump shots. This he took was a, lot of a different. I was, this was a different Giannis we've seen because he took his he, game to another level. Exactly. Something. You know how we talk about how Christoph Porzingis needs to evolve his game. 
That's yeah. what you need right there. Go. I'm telling you right now, KP, if you want, go take this NBA Finals and just go watch what Giannis did. And especially how different it was in the series. Games one and two, Giannis is not the same as games three through six. They were they were different. They they played differently. Giannis took it upon himself. I mean, he was hitting turnaround. I saw him taking turnaround turnaround jump shots. Even when he did go to the basket, the way he went about it, yeah, like he, he wasn't he wasn't getting the ball. And you know, you, here's the difference. Last year when he would get the ball, mm -hmm. you notice how he would take the he would get the ball and go, and then he would stop and dribble it back out. Mm -hmm. That's because last year when he was against Miami. He would take the ball and run full full steam ahead mm -hmm. and get in, and get a charge. Right. Well, this year he like, nah, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna wait. Let me see what I got. Or set it up and then go do it. Exactly. That's the one. That's the one thing I loved about his game. And some of the other things was the shots he was making that were incredible. The hook shots. It was like that one hook shot. I was like, well, how are you making that? Okay, he he yeah. got in the zone. Exactly. He added that to his game. Um. So I, can I have the can I have the camera uh, on me? Sorry. I know yeah. You need to. I want to make sure you do yeah. all the right apologies. Make sure you get everybody. I know. Um. I want to apologize right now to the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Okay. The entire Antetokounmpo family. Uh huh. And Milwaukee and their and Coach Bud. Yeah, I, Coach that's Bud. who I'm going to make sure you <laughs> would definitely want to make sure you. Get. Sorry. Coach because Bud you too. came in this studio and Sorry. said he, he was a he and I and I told you that doesn't even, that doesn't even add up that doesn't even make sense. I know. I know. I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. keep, keep your pants. Go up. ahead. Um, I want to apologize first of all to Giannis because. I all playoffs years long. I kept just doubting him. I kept denying him. I well, said he, he, he gave you some moments. Where I it was know. like Giannis, like what the, and, and I just looked at him like you're not a two time. I I even said it. He's not a two time MVP. How can he be? He's not playing like it. There's no way this guy's a two time MVP. And he he shut the me the sh he made me shut the somebody fuck else up. shut shut everybody up too. Who 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 everybody not giving some respect to? Who's that? Chris Middleton. Oh, I was about to get to Chris. Yeah, Middleton. Chris. Oh, he, his name. Everybody owe him an apology. Chris Middleton came out. And Drew Holiday. People are giving Drew Holiday shit. Uh, Drew uh, Holiday did not have a good game. He, no, not this season. Not this for the overall, he, he came up big in the series. Well, see, the and deal, if it wasn't for Drew Holiday, there would be points in this series that the Bucks wouldn't have won. Okay, okay. Here's where Monty Williams messed up. He kissed Chris Paul's ass too much in this series. Okay, he tried mm -hmm. to make it, make it. They tried to make it too much about Chris Paul. Chris Paul should not have been guarding Drew Holiday. Who should Drew, have? Devin Booker? Either or, either or Devin Jay Booker Crowder. or Mikael Bridges. Okay, that would have okay. made sense. Okay. Um, he's too big. He's too strong for him. Chris Paul. He kind of exposed Chris Paul. His age kind of showed a little bit. They should have. He should have made that adjustment early as a wait until in the third quarter or this game to make that adjustment. Had he probably made that adjustment about game three or four, mm -hmm. we might have a different. I will series. say this too, Monty Williams. I don't think from his point he didn't make any real adjustments. They didn't make any. No, you know they tried to. Do, they tried to. They thought they were going to be able to outscore. Yeah, them. that's what and, they thought. But that's not a good. That's not adjusting. That's just saying let's just go outscore them. Yeah, and that's not a good way, especially when you're NBA Finals. You see this team. They already came out. They already adjusted to you, and they're winning at it right now. You got to make the next. You got to make the next chess move, and they didn't do that. So, I, and and listen, Monty Williams. Congratulations to him for getting here. First of all, he did a very classy thing going to the locker room afterwards. Well, he's a great he, guy. He, he is, he is a 100% a great individual. You know, mm -hmm. I, I really, really took uh, credence to him, especially when he was in New Orleans. But after his wife died in that uh, in that car accident, yeah. you know, I really felt for Monty Williams. And I, that's what I had always been saying before that. It's like, Monty Williams needs another another chance. He needs another, right. another shot. He, he, proved, he proved that he is a great head coach. Yeah, he is. He just, he just he didn't have moment. he didn't have the ammo to fight. Once they, once they did what I said do, Take Lopez off the floor mm -hmm. and put Giannis at the center. I was like, Coach. I was like, with Lopez on the floor, look at him. They put him the first two games. They put him in pick and roll. Devin Booker cooked him. Giannis also, but the main person I really want to apologize is Giannis because he's been getting a lot of crap uh, because I he never really. All I said with Giannis was that no, he no. needs to. He needs to. He needs to. I said he needs to get a jump shot at least. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I, I think I might. I, he's uh, Dan Horton says I said he needs to shoot threes. I said he probably needs to. He probably needs to shoot and. Take a couple threes, but I'm not saying his game need to be straight no, no. three pointers. You, I'm not, but there were a lot of people who just said, "Look at he's just uh, going to well under the playoff pressure." It's the same thing, you know, same stuff we heard about Dirk going into the 2011 uh, playoffs. Same scenario, and he's I, a I Robin, he'll never win. Exactly, same and he's thing not he said the, about Dirk. And I said the same thing. I said, "I even said it on the show." 
bring him down to Dallas because he's a superstar, but he's a beta. I said he was a beta superstar to Luka. He would be perfect with Luka because he mm -hmm. wouldn't overshadow Luka. Yeah, a lot of Mavs fans tell me, oh, he'll never win in Milwaukee. He should have just come to Dallas. He'll, he'll never win in Dallas. Dallas. I said the same thing, and I, I'm apologizing. He did it. He did it. And not only did he do it, he did it in a very spectacular way. To go and close out a game with 50 points? Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. 50. 50. And the last one came from the free throw line. Yeah. <sighs> Which was that? And his that, free throw, he knocked down. He made almost every free throw he took. Poetic justice. That's what that is. So congratulations to the Bucks. Um, I don't know how long it lasts because the East is gearing up back again. There's uh, the Nets. They can get healthy and they. they can I, be I a told threat. you. I told you. I don't see the Nets winning the champion. A you don't think so? No, because well, do you see them at least getting back to the? They can get to the finals if they though. trade Kyrie. They will. Okay. You got to trade Kyrie. Kyrie is the, Kyrie is the problem. What? No, no, KP for no, no, <laughs> no, 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 for Kyrie? no, Come no, on, no, another Muslim brother. no, 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 I don't want it, don't want it, what's wrong with Muslims, if you, you knew, and it's not about Muslim, it's him, he's the I problem, I I, dude, I, I dude, he did you, you left Cleveland, you wanted to get your own team, you went to Boston, they were bad when you got there. Okay, you got hurt. They went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Yep. You came back. They couldn't even get out of the first round. Then you get on and say, well, we need to make trades and we need to get better players. And then you go to the Nets. And then you go to the Nets. With KD and James Harden. And then you decide to go on a... I, I'm not. That's his mental thing. No, no, I know. But I mean, but the, but I told you, organization, they yeah, were pissed about that. that. that that's why they're trying yeah. to trade him. So I was just saying, he's not as committed. We're, it's whatever, not that he's not... He isn't. I'm not going to say he's not committed. It's that I don't want somebody... I don't want somebody who who I have to worry about. That's what I'm saying. If is if he gonna come to work today? No. Like for instance, let's say on this show, right? If I did that, you would say, okay, EA is gonna try to find himself. That's great, but I still gotta rely on my show. Right. It's my show, and I can't rely on EA, so I want him gone. If I did that, you would want me gone. Right. Like, I can't. That, that, I, he's unreliable. Well, it don't matter because I, I still think Milwaukee. If if this is Giannis now and he's unlocked this new part of his game and this is what he's going to be, then the East is still in trouble because Milwaukee's still a great team. Now they still need to make some adjustments. I do think that Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, they got to continue what they were doing. That, that 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 was very up and down with both of those players, especially all throughout the playoffs. Their their the supporting cast is very. Up and well, down. Here, it's kind of it's here, weird to criticize the team that just won a championship. So I'm just gonna go up. We'll see what well, happens. Here's the thing, though. They also, um, first off, uh, I think it would have been a different series if Divincenzo played. That's who's really their three point shooter. Yeah, but he and, hurt, he hurt his leg. Yeah. So if he would have played, I think the series would have been maybe just like four. Yeah, because that's a that's a three that's a three point shooter right there. So um, and also and Cook. and, and, and PJ Tucker was really good for them. It, that was that was probably the best move they made. Um, first, That's really what uh, won coach, and coach Bud. Of course, we got to give congratulations. Everybody talking about. Oh, Carlisle's got that job. If they, the yeah, that's fired. what made them, That's what drove them to play better too. You, that's what I saw. Yeah. That. You saw your, me that's your, that theory? that's your theory. Yeah, yeah. They st they knew that if they didn't win, that they would have up. to. They would have had to uh, Rick as a coach, and they was like, it's "We coach, heard of it." It's Coach Bud secure now. Oh hell yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I tell you this, not really, because the Lakers. I mean, the Bulls got rid of Phil Jackson after they, after they won the championship, so okay, nothing secure. That's a different story. I'm just you never know, because you know, at first they were like, we need to get. At first, it was coming after that they were getting ready to fire him mm -hmm. if they got eliminated. Yeah, so true. you never so, know. So um, uh, let's go to quickly to the Suns and just kind of bury them and see what's going on there. Um, Chris Paul's a free agent. He's not coming back. You if they would have so. won, he would have came back. Um, now, where do you think he goes? Because There's because behind the scenes, from from what I've been told and understanding. There was a lot of friction in the locker room when he first got there. Like they just turned it on in like mid, mid right. uh, season, and they all got on the same page. It was I would too. Like Chris Paul is that type of guy who's like, "Hey, I'm gonna." He he doesn't seem like he gets along with a lot of his teammates. Well, it's, you know, it's not that. It's just, it everybody's like styles it. are clashing. You know, well, Devin Booker. Huge... Devin Booker is the, is the primary scorer, so he's gonna want the ball in his hands all the time. But at the same time, Chris Paul is the point guard. Like, let him set you up. Like, let him get you ready. It was just a, it was just a clash of styles. I think honestly, the I don't think even if it comes back next season, I don't think it would work. I think that this was like lightning in the bottle for the Suns. That it just worked out really well for them, and they just 
had this, a really good streak. I think Chris <laughs> Ball. You don't have to worry about that, John Brown. The Lakers will probably snatch him up. That's now. what I'll say. I'll say. Uh, um, I think Chris Ball. You think LeBron? LeBron's going to go want Chris Ball on his team. Well, we'll take him. I oh, mean, I'm sorry. You know, that's our boy. We'll take him if I'm, we need to. I know because he's going through a tough time with the. Yeah, Rams. yeah. The, the, you the know, Space Jam reviews are very negative. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I, we not worried about. It. We we got a billion dollars. Oh, <laughs> we, we we all are about to be. You hear that? We hit a bill today, so we not worried about. Uh, you, get, you, get, you got some of that? All oh, right, I didn't get it. <laughs> Listen, don't worry about what me and LeBron got worked out. Don't worry about that. We I'm got saying, we hit a billion today, though. Okay. Oh, we did hit a billion. I've never seen somebody excited for other person's billions. I love I love to see people successful. Your, your other your other uh, uh, person that you represent, Miss was Miss Kardashian West. Uh huh. She she she's a billionaire too. Oh right? yeah. Well, uh, I you mean, do? you pick billionaires. I mean, I what did I tell you? My mother told me. You always want to associate yourself with winners. You don't want to be hanging with right. kids that's doing bad stuff, though. So, you don't want to be with the bad kids. So Chris you want Ball, to be with the kids, the winners. So Chris Ball should heed that and go to the Lakers. Yeah, we'll take him. We, I mean, we'll take him. Who you know, you we got some stuff, who are you taking out? We got some stuff that we're working on. We might be working on, but you know, we might be working on a trade with uh, for Westbrook, getting rid of Kuz and uh, oh, Schroeder you, and you're Tucker. Everybody out. That's three. That's we don't want Schroeder. Uh, Tucker, you know, we liked him or whatever, but you know, LeBron, we we hand picked him, mm -hmm. but you know, and Kuzma, we we not feeling that, him. He, he want to be, he want to be. The, is that the one told us? Yeah, that? we don't worry about that. Well, because that's a that's big, over with as of now, because he ain't done nothing for us since. So we got to end that relate. We got to kill that relationship. <laughs> Um, we got to talk to Janine about that. Yeah, so we got to get him up. We got to get t him up out of here. He's not doing what we need do you to think, do. So I read this on Twitter, and I thought it was kind of crazy. A team that was in the NBA Finals will be the seventh seed all over again this year, next year. And they're saying that the Phoenix Suns are going to drop to be the seventh seed again. Do you think that's possible? If Chris Paul leave, it depends on who they get to replace Chris Paul. So those are not much out there, though. Yeah, it's out there. There's not much that I think that can upgrade them. It's like we don't think there's much in the free agency market other than DeMar DeRozan for the Mavericks. I mean, it depends. I mean, they could go get Kyle Lowry and be good. Yeah, I, I mean, don't even think Kyle Lowry would be good for us. Uh, we don't. Who 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 said that? I I, I just personally don't think Kyle well, Lowry would be great. Why we need another? We already have uh, what's the name? We got Luca. Yeah. What what's Kyle Lowry gonna come here and do? You need a you need a two guard. Is what you need. Well, yeah, I yeah, you need that. two guard. Oh, uh, well, because Luke is going to be the primary ball him. I, I think the Suns' future is still bright. Monty Williams is a great coach. He's already shown that. Yeah, Devin Booker and DeAndre Aiden are going to be two stars in this league. So here's the thing. So before that, this ball, whole, ball, ball, the ball, whole ball. seven footer thing, yeah. uh, seven footers are bad in the NBA. You saw at the end of the day, you needed a seven footer to win the championship. When you look down the other end, I like I told you the other day. Why when Tobias said, why would you do that? Uh, Aiden can't guard Giannis. He can't do anything with Giannis. He can't. He said, "Tell me, I say he got a couple feet on him." Well, that's a couple feet too much, and he and he's longer. He's way too long for him. Okay, you, you, you're saying that we need seven, people need seven footers. Yeah. Okay, I got a seven footer here. And all Dallas. right, all right. Now Damn, you better be getting a seven footer back. Mr. Porzingis, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell y'all something. Cut, Dave Milson, may God rest his soul, Cedar Hill. He said, he told me in my face one day, he said, do you understand why, why I start? Uh, we had one seven foot over. He's like, I know he's a better player, but do you understand why I start him? He said, because you can't coach height. You, can, you, you can't coach height. You can coach a lot of things, but you can't coach height. And damn it, that, you see how tall that boy is? That's why he's on that court right now. Sean Bradley had height and didn't really do much. I mean that may be I'm true. I'm just saying that height isn't true. everything. It, but you have but to it, know how to do what you have to do with. But at the same time, he did make it to the NBA. He did. Yes. Yeah, so he, 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 he was doing something right at some point. I mean, at the Mavericks, when he got to Mavericks, he was at the end of his career anyway. Yeah. I'm just saying, Mr. Porzingis has height, but he ain't doing much with no, it. No. At first, and and like everybody <laughs> keep telling you, you don't you don't get rid of a guy that can shoot like that either. Uh, well, we'll according to what he said recently. He's blaming the coaching. So if it brick call, I mean, the problem. no, we're not blaming. I'm, what happened to Bobby V? I thought everybody was bringing uh, no, I'm Bob Garris. Um, that's according to what KP is saying. Well, uh, he was told he was told to stay and Mark in the Cuban, Mark Cuban, I, everybody, Carlisle said it. Cuban said it. He said he did what we asked him. We told him to do that. We asked him to do that. He did oh, what we asked him to do. That was a very stupid thing to do because I'm looking for more from KP. But but we'll, but, but you have to understand though. But kid, I, based off, I'm of, that's why I'm excited for what kid said.
one thing that Jason Kidd didn't excite me for is that we really need to utilize Christoph Porzingis the right way. We said that in the playoffs, he didn't get utilized. Like, everybody saw it. Like, dude, you got a seven-footer who can shoot, and you got him standing in the corner. I'm telling you what they did. You know, that they started running that fucking Houston Rockets offense. Mm -hmm. You run to the corner, you run here, shoot threes, and if, if, if all else fails, Get your get your best player the ball. Let him go do that's one why, on one. That's why you're happy, Mac, Mike D'Antoni. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. I am so happy, Mike D'Antoni did not get the job here. Well, congratulations to Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, congratulations to Giannis and Chick Fil A. Uh, are you going to get the Chick the Giannis special? Fifty Chick Fil A minis and a. What? I might. You know what? I might do that for everybody at work one morning. You go get us a fifty piece. You want me to get? You know, know what? Right? You know that's what? Like he don't care about us. But but that's a more that's a morning uh, meal though. That's a morning. They serve that all day. No, they don't. You, you know what? The, you I'll eat Chick Fil A every hour. You can't get those Chick Fil A uh, mini heard, nuggets. I, saw, I, thought, I thought, thought that was the the biscuit thing. I heard got. you could get it all day. Okay, well if it's the if it's the nuggets, nuggets, Excuses. then yeah, I'll do that one night. I, I, it's okay. He just doesn't care about it. No, that's cool. I'll do that. I'll get us the chicken nugget. The uh, the, the Giannis special. Yeah, I'll get us the Giannis special. If it's the nut, I thought he was ordering the. Uh, well, he probably was, but I heard, I heard no, but I heard that you could get those all day. I just read that, so maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll do that. Matter of fact, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, next Thursday. I won't be here, but it's okay. Oh, you won't be here. I'll be on vacation. Okay, well, we'll wait for you to come here for vacation. Oh, but you gotta get the drinks too. Do the Giannis special? Did you see what he okay, got? Okay, the Sprite lemonade. Sprite. I never heard of that, okay. and I gotta try that. Cat, have you heard of that? Half lemonade, half Sprite, no ice. Yeah, That's what I need got. ice in mine. Oh, he don't. He's not an ice guy. Yeah, that poor girl. I he, like ice. He goes, can I? Can I put you on the IG live? <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> she got scared. Hey, Julie. Julie, why don't you come hang out with us? This EA is gonna be on vacation next week. Or is that just Thursday or no, no, all next week? All, all next week. Oh week. well, good. I'll be in the. Thank, get, I'll thank get God. Some sun. Thank God. We won't have to worry about it. <laughs> we won't have to worry about this guy for a week. Let's go to break. Yeah, let's go that, to break. Let's go. Just, <laughs> this is fucked up. Congratulations, Giannis. And by the way, it's no more Greek freak. I'm retiring the nickname. Giannis Antetokounmpo put respect on his name. Let's take a break when we come out. Come back. Let's go out to Cowboys training camp and talk about what's going on. I know. I see EA. He's got his polo oh, fired right, up, right ready there. to go. Uh -huh. uh, let's talk about training camp. Uh, we're going to listen to Jerry some more real quick. But uh, when we come back, we'll be talking about rumors, the uh, press conference. And Michael Irvin seems to be uh, said some comments. I'm a little confused about that. I need you to clear for me okay. right here next on DallasOnAir.com. <laughs> 